hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to add custom logs throughout the backend code and in case you missed previous discussion about portal development small feature how to download a specific pdf report from the portal site please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the playlist you can see Odoo development and here you can see different types of playlist available with different topic wise with the real test cases and in case you need any support related Odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow and we have some social media pages make sure you can follow to get the latest notification so let's back to our main topic like how you can try to send messages or let's say add some custom messages in the chatter part so let's say the student profile here let's say i want to add some messages right the log here but not like this way but let's say if i will do some changes here after that some logs i want to add here throughout the code so how is it possible so this test case we are trying to perform throughout the backend code okay so we are using python inbuilt method to perform this operation so for that we are going to odoo our odoo training custom add-ons right and you can see this is our custom add-ons and i will try to uh, let's say post the message to this school dot student profile so before we are i'm trying to explain that inbuilt feature right you have to uh, remember one thing is whenever you are using inbuilt functionality right so make sure you have to follow some certain steps so first step is make sure your custom module or existing module which is provided by odoo and that model don't have inherited this mail dot thread then you have to compulsory add this mail.thread model all right after that it is possible otherwise it won't be work so in case maybe you are trying to use that specific feature without this mail thread right then after auto automatically throws the exception or uh, for example that method or certain feature is not available for this school dot student profile all right so this is the first thing after that if in case you want to visible that chatter feature right so chatter feature means this one in the form view you have to add the oe chatter div tag and that message in this right this i already explained in our previous discussion related odoo discussion chatter functionality okay you can also visit that playlist you can see this odoo chatter tutorial right and now let's start here uh, let's create a one method the custom method custom logs for example this one okay so let's say i will try to i'm just trying to assume this is for the single uh, mod uh, single record set right so here I'm, i will directly use the self and after that we have to use message underscore post okay so this is the method we have to use and this is the existing method all right and we have to just simple use here the body as a parameter like hello this is custom log from button click event all right and now i will try to add this module in the views okay so for that uh, we have to search here school dot student the form view let me copy this method custom logs type equal to object that's it all right and now i will try to upgrade this module why because we just extended the view part okay so for that i am trying to upgrade this module in the backend 
side in the po, uh, in the PyCharm. In case you don't know how to configure Podoo in PyCharm, please check. Link is given in the description. Alright, so you can see successfully upgraded this module without any error. Now I will try to refresh the screen. So you can see this new button also available. Okay. Now you can see in the logs we don't have anything. Okay. Let me refresh one more time. So you can see there is no messages in this conversation. Now let's see if I will try to click this button. Okay. The custom, the specific logs already updated here. Right. Here you can see the timestamp is now. Right. Who added this message? Right. So this Michelle admin user created this message. Okay using this button click event now let's say if i will click three times one two three you can see three times it will automatically add here okay now another thing is let's say if you want to add some html content that is also possible all right so for that let me close this one let me minimize this one let me add here simple message right now let's say self dot message underscore post body equal to and here let let's say i will add h1 tag hello weblands How are you? Okay. Now let's say we try to restart the service, but no need to upgrade the module. So I will try to remove this command and simple. I will restart the service, minimize this one, and I will go to here and click to this button. And now you can see hello, Weblands community how are you all right so like this way you can also add html content another thing is if you add some uh, let's say anchor tag or like that right the image tag or something like that it is also working fine so let's let's say html So self dot message underscore post body and let's say here I will use here the anchor tag sorry channel for how to develop and here simple I will use like href https double slash youtube.com slash at the red web launch like this right so this is the specific path of the youtube channel right you can also man like here you can add anything okay the website or any url after that let me restart the service let me minimize this one and I will go to here and click to this button now you can see this once i will hover this cursor to weblands you can see the left uh, bottom corner you can see that url visible and the icon also changes as a hand icon right this one and if i will go to the youtube content you can see the cursor icon is also changed there's a simple text right and if i will click to this one it will automatically redirect to this specific URL which you mentioned. Okay. So like this way, this custom post functionality working. Okay. Another thing is. So this is the hobby. So let me show you here the difference. Post message self. Like let's say self dot message underscore post. Hello test okay and simple 
uh, let me go to here in the views uh, let's say hobby so we have this hobby form view button name equal to this one string is a post message and type is the object all right let me upgrade this module so successfully upgraded this module without warning messages let me refresh the screen and let me go to the school menu 2 and hobby let me open any of this one and you can see this button right and once i will click now you can see this hobby object no attribute message in this code post okay why if you remember beginning of this session if you remember i already discussed that functionality only works when you inherit this mail dot thread model so i will leave as it is and let me also add one more message right okay so this message underscore post you cannot use directly without inheriting that mail or thread model if you are inherited already then you can directly use like this well okay so this is the main point here like how you can add your custom messages in the chatter part if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session